US and UK airlines make a last-ditch attempt to open up a travel corridor. The leadership of UK and US airline industries met to show solidarity and plan a route to reopening international travel between the United Kingdom and the United States. The leaders have met virtually and just before the US President and the UK Prime Minister meet for the first time at the G7 talks in Cornwall in the UK. In this video, we take a look at the talks that took place and the outcome of those talks. We also look at the potential impact of the meeting and wonder if we are one step closer to travel being relaxed between the two countries. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. Major airlines on both sides of the Atlantic joined forces to push for a travel corridor to be opened between the United Kingdom and the United States. The airlines made the call ahead of a meeting of G7 leaders in England this weekend. The summit will see world leaders in a series of face-to-face -face meetings between 11th and the 13th of June. The airline CEOs argue that, with world-leading vaccination programs in both the UK and the US, there is a clear opportunity to safely open up travel between these two low-risk countries. In a joint statement, the CEOs of all six airlines offering UK-US flights, as well as Heathrow Airport, say that, reopening transatlantic travel will be essential to igniting economic recovery. They appeal to the governments of US President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who will meet at a G7 summit, to take a data-driven and risk-based approach to reopening borders to travel. The corridor between the UK and the US is precious on both sides of the Atlantic. According to reports, UK businesses are losing £23 million each day, that travel between the two countries remains closed. The aviation industry also posted record losses in 2020, after the pandemic forced them to suspend international travel. The United States is currently on the UK's amber list, along with most European Union countries. Travelers from Amber List countries must show a negative COVID-19 test and quarantine for 10 days upon arrival in the UK. Since last year, the United States has barred nearly all non-US citizens and non-US residents who have been in the UK or the EU within the last 14 days from entering the country. British nationals could theoretically travel to a third country not affected by the US ban for two weeks before traveling onwards to the United States, as the prohibition is on where travelers have been recently, as opposed to their nationality. COVID vaccines have been touted as a way to reopen travel in a post-COVID world. Both the UK and the US have significantly high vaccination rates. More than three-quarters of British adults have received at least one dose of the vaccine, and 63.5% of people over 18 in the US are also partially vaccinated. The business leaders cite studies that show vaccination is reducing transmission and curbing the spread of variants. The group is calling for the British government to add the United States to the UK's green list. This would mean that, travellers will no longer be required to quarantine upon arrival. They also urged the US government,
to allow fully vaccinated UK travellers, or those who can show a negative COVID-19 test, to enter the country. What are your thoughts on this issue? Are you anticipating a travel bubble between the UK and the US? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.